So this is the direction in which was his bad lead. So she's been cantering and stopping when he's got it right. Yeah, that's perfect. Yep, just be ready with your stick if it feels like he's gonna fall apart. Yep, so breathe a little so he slows down, but don't stop, keep going. Yep, so breathe again. Good, he almost lost his lead. That's all it was, yep. Good, now when you get to the fence, walk. So walk, but then keep walking, yep. Good, and then flat walk once around before we give him a break. Once, once we get going as you're rocking back and forth in the saddle, then we'll just do a little breathing to see if it'll slow him down. That's good, so try to stay that speed. Yep, just every time your butt hits the saddle, just a little lift with your hands or your fingers. Go a little slower here. A little bit slower, so breathe in and out, slower. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, now walk him. Good boy. Because he's almost. Yeah, no there. rush, just where you're comfortable picking it up. No, wrong lead. So stop him and back him up. Yep. And then shorten your reins just a little bit more before you canter off again. Yep. And then when you're ready, try it again. Good. Don't go any faster. You're gonna try and stay off the rail. So you'll have to keep your outside rein and outside leg against them. Yep, lean back a little bit more. And then half halt every time your butt hits the saddle, kind of keep your stick right against his shoulder. Lean back a little bit more. Yep, there you go, good. And then walk and tell him good boy. Yep, so walk so we don't fall apart. Yep, and then we'll give him another break. So just walk a circle around. Can her again. Good, so easy, keep the rein short. Yep, stay that speed, keep breathing. Good job, buddy, good job. Yep, keep your outside leg on him so he doesn't drift and that stick kind of against his shoulder. Easy, go a little slower, a little slower. Okay, and then walk. So not bad, as he's getting slower, he's kind of getting a little bit flatter. So as we slow him down, you might remember, you'll kind of keep your body a little bit straighter and him a little bit straight. <laughs> He's like, screw you, gay. You try and stay straight. That nice departure, yep. A little slower right here. Yep, that's good, good. Then maybe a little tap with this stick right there, not faster, just so he stays engaged. Good. So this time, go ahead and go down the long side. If he feels like he starts to fall apart, just add a circle wherever you are. Oh, so I would just start over again. It's okay. He's like, you know, this is exhausting. <laughs> Good. So you'll just go down the long side. So no circle. Just keep half halting, sitting back, breathing a little slower. Keep going straight, slow, slow, slow. Good. Now walk and just let him walk and have a break. Just keep the rein kind of short. And use your body, good departure. Looks great. A little slower there, he's getting faster. So now take him in a circle down here. Yep, keep breathing, but be ready with your stick. Lean back a little bit and keep kind of that outside leg. His head's much better. Good, now walk. Good boy. Now he's trying a little shoulder in at the corners to help separate his legs. That looks good. Yep, so you're still going uphill right now and then it'll start going downhill once you get his shoulders in. Really good, yep. 
Oh, it's getting better. There, now he, you, he did well when you did the shoulder in and then it went downhill a little bit and then he started getting his legs closer again. Okay. So anytime out of that corner, we might just have to stay a little slower. Okay. So remember downhill, they get pacey and it's hard. A lot of arenas are like this. It goes uphill and then it goes downhill and people are like, what are you talking about? You got to get the feel of it. So here it goes uphill a little bit. That's good. So it's going uphill right now and he's quite good. Yep, there he's getting just a little bit with his legs closer. So here, once you do the shoulder in and then you're going back towards the rail, stay just a little bit slower as you go back to the rail. So now slow him down just a little. Yep, that's better. It's okay. Because otherwise, if we go too much, then he gets more pacey. Okay. We're working on the running walk. So going down that side, just do a little bit more leg yielding or shoulder in like when you're halfway down as well. Okay. Yeah, because, yeah. And then we'll do it on both sides because now his legs are getting a little closer together, more like a step pace, yep. So you're still trying to keep the speed. You're just trying to separate those legs a little bit more. Yep, so bring his shoulders off, kind of half halt each step, and then keep pushing them with your right leg. That's better. Good. And then once you get back up to the corner with the um, mounting block over there, come across the diagonal and we'll change our direction. Yep, even bring his shoulders in a little bit here just to help separate his legs more. Yep, and kind of half halt as you're doing it. And then across the diagonal. He's like, I can slow down. Yep. Yeah, right. Good. So just keep working on it. You just keep trying to separate his legs more and more. So I try another little shoulder in out of this corner. And just every time you're pushing with your leg, just a little squeeze and relax on the rein. That's good, yep. And if it feels like he gets bouncy again, then just another shoulder in or a leg yield. Really good. 